What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into my first episode of Moon Talk, where I give you sex, occult, and everyday life. I'm Luna Moon, and I'm here with my beautiful sister, Chanel Black, model Princess Yemi, and Miss Peach. And we're going to be talking to you about the 10 struggles of being a sexually liberated black woman. Before we get started on the 10 struggles of being a sexually liberated black woman, I just want to ask you ladies, what does it mean to you to be a sexually liberated black woman? Because we come from a society that suppresses women sexually, and as black women, we also come from a culture that suppresses sexually. So we have these two big barriers that's just like weighed down on us. So what does it mean to each of you to be a sexually liberated black woman? It's, it's empowering as fuck. It's great, like, just doing whatever the hell you want, not have to worry about what people say. You can just be you without any consequences. I like that. <laughs> and, and I definitely... Oh! Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, basically, you said empowering, and that was like the main word floating in my head mm -hmm. was empowerment. Um, but I'd say a wild woman. Like... <laughs> I would say a wild woman is is what it means to be liberated. Like you're you are walking on your own path. Like you're that lone <laughs> wolf. You feel me? So it's like that's how I feel a liberated woman is. Like you walk on your own path to I your like own that. deep. I like that. And it seems like all of us were thinking about empowerment because it really is empowering. It it, it means to be self. You don't have to hold anything. You don't have to stop being anything. You don't have to think about it because. Oh, can I? Should I? No, I'm just, I just will. I am. We are. Yeah. And so it's very, very important to be liberating and empowering. And I feel like us being empowering and liberating black women. Mm -hmm. Magical is, as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very magical. Breaking out so many barriers. It's like so many barriers. So it is, but I think it's right there. I like it. <laughs> I like it when I first met you. All right. When I first met you, it was the sexiest light in Whenever the Whenever you count down. Yo, why she so sexy? <laughs> awesome. So let's get into the 10 struggles of being a sexually liberated black woman. And the first struggle that I have listed, guys will think that you want to have sex. <laughs> Just because I am a sexually liberated woman does not mean that I want to have sex with you okay thank you <laughs> it does not work that way that is... but have you, do you guys have any experiences with being sexually liberated and expressing it and you have people thinking oh she's easy oh she's a hoe oh you know she'll sleep with me like you have any experiences oh, oh. i have a long list <laughs> <laughs> it's every day like, yeah you're mm -hmm. going to the gas station bro i'm just trying to buy my roll up <laughs> I'm just trying to get my life together. And I gotta worry about home skillet biscuit behind the counter. <laughs> Talking about some, I love you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just want a hug. Can I get a hug? What can, can I get? Hey, let's get a hug, guys. Can, can I get, get a hug? Oh my goodness. Come here, bro. Outside <laughs> into the front where I'm at. Let me pay for your gas. Pay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let me pay for your gas. Give me extra. Who said I wanted extra? <laughs> who said I wanted? Thank you. I but who said it. I wanted extra? <laughs> I ain't want it. <laughs> Princess is always posting on Facebook about how somebody <laughs> coughing ass. <laughs> how somebody? I said it was going to be real. I'm <laughs> back. Like even just recently, I'm at a gas station minding my own business, and I literally hear a man say, "Come here, girl." Yeah, that's scary. And I'm like, like uh, no. That's scary. Excuse me? <laughs> hey, do you need me to pump your gas? No, thank you, but you can pay for it. Hello. <laughs> oh, Hello. Right. Right. You can pay for it. Oh, you don't want to do that? It's, it's, it's annoying. I, I literally, even down to um, past relationships, mm -hmm. it's been... Oh, I know you having sex with this dude you were in a photo shoot with. Oh, yeah. There's no way you can be. Tell me what I'm doing with my vagina. Thank you. There's no way you can be naked around this many people and, and not, not be having, having sex, sex with, with them. Oh my, it's my pussy. And um, you're so seductive. 
if that oh it, it it's so much like again like peach said the list can go i had i had a photographer once ask me when you're posing nude do you ever get turned on i'm like I oh my god i hate that i'm like no i don't because i was born nude i, can't I was <laughs> But it's like, it doesn't work that way, guys. And ladies, too, you know, get hit on my ladies all the time. It doesn't Man, work that way. You know, whole, it, it's... <laughs> a whole, whole female. Okay. Whole female. Let us go to number two. Go you don't have a lot of lady friends. I know. I know for me. Never have. Oh, my goodness. It's like, it's like, it's like you're intimidated. I don't want to say that we're intimidated. I don't want to sound cocky. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. Women find you for whatever reason, um, like you want to take her man, or oh she's just being extra, or oh she's flirting too much, and it's just like this is who I am. Mm -hmm. Like this is like like I have to tell my boyfriend like I, it's an argument with the flirtiness, but it's like something that that's always been a part of me. You know what I'm saying? My mother is like this. You know what I'm saying? It's like something that's always been a part of me, and I have to actively like pay attention to every action in order to tone it down. So it's just like. And that takes a lot of energy if you people don't realize that shit. Like, really try to pay attention to everything you're doing to make that sure that you're not giving off the wrong impression to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. It's just like, bro, it takes too much energy. Like, like yeah. it does. Be like, I ask them if you like apples. Is that kinky or is that? Right. Oh. <laughs> it's like, it's not it's not it's not I guarantee it, it, it does. does. It does. It's it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it, 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 do, can I can I sit like this? May I, may I say what I'm about to say? Right. Is what I'm about to say going to be oh my God. misleading? <laughs> you know, you <laughs> never think about, about it all the time. Like, am, am I being a lady? Am I being a lady? I hate right. that. Like, Fuck you. Right. I'm, not I'm being myself. My mother <laughs> told me that I had this thing that I do. And she goes, this is what locks the me. This is why they think you're flirting. What? This is what my mom said to me. And she points it out every time I do it. And it's so natural. And she goes, you do this right here. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> You do it to women, it's just who you yeah. are. It's just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Or I just see you all day. It's just like, it's perfect. Do you want to be soda? Yeah. Like, yes. Be like, do, do you want to fuck? Yes. What about you? Just about asking about it a wine glass. We're, we're, we're that way. We're that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. about that life. <laughs> boyfriend he thinks I'm flirting I'm flirty I'm flirty I'm like I'm not actively trying to flirt with anybody trust I don't want to to okay to to think I want him because of how like the energy I give off but it's just not something that's that I'm actively trying to give off like you can try and flirt with a person you're attracted to but it's like when it's a part of your personality it's like you're, you're not it's if like, anything, that's when you suck at it. When you're trying to flirt with somebody you like. You know, it's exactly. like, you're so corny. This is like, uh, it's, like, it's like, every other time, it's just, haha, this is just what I do. And it's like, oh crap, I actually got to show you that I like you. And then and then it goes <laughs> into this thing where people think you're leading them on in a way. It's like, I promise you, this is how I am with everybody. Oh, my God. Like, mm -hmm. I've just recently had a conversation. <laughs> oh, hell. It's bad. No, this, this is how I am. So, number four is... Finding a partner who is sexually liberated. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> it. Mm. Look at my love. <laughs> <laughs> love you know, I don't know. <laughs> We're all in relationships. Oh, yes. 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 I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, <laughs> um, next, next one. Uh, I'm talking about this one. We gotta do it. Well, we're gonna talk for other people. Finding a sexually liberated partner, it is a process. Um, take it slow. Okay. Yes. Take it slow. Yeah. And don't and don't be quick to just shut them off. Try and teach them some things. Mm -hmm. If during. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a natural reflex. <laughs> Number five. No. <laughs> yeah, if you keep going. Okay. Did y'all speak? I'm not done. 
I'll talk about the table. Okay, okay. okay. So, okay. Got it. so finding someone that is comfortable with your sexual liberation as a woman. Again, this is not easy at all. I was dating a person for five years. They knew me as a nude model. We were friends as a nude model. Mm -hmm. And and all of a sudden, you know, liking starts to occur, and now there's a problem. <laughs> and it's like, well, sweetheart, that's how you met me. This is who I am. If you date a stripper, you got a stripper. If you date a nude model, you have a nude model. And, and it was the worst situation. It actually resorted to me being a single mother because of the situation. And you know what? That is fine. Because now I have a sexually liberated man. Oh, <laughs> Eva go so so so. Oh my God! <laughs> awesome. Yes, I got something to say. Right? <laughs> I want to add on to that. Like, yes, take it slow, but I I need the other party. If if you are that person that is sexually liberated, I need whoever that person is that feels that they can take on that type of challenge. Be sure and confident and secure within yourself that mm -hmm. you can take on that type of woman. Yeah. Don't ever go into that woman's life thinking that you're going to change something. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, if they're around me long enough, they'll, they'll, they'll understand what I'm talking about. It's like, no. Like, there, there was a line that was created <laughs> and, and, and you trying to t turn it into not a line. Fuck like that. It was, it was straight. And it was vague. <clears throat> it was straight and it was in your face. Like... <clears throat> You can't remove you can't, that you line. Can't, you can't remove really Get hip or bye. Let's get to number five. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of ties into number four, but you find that your partner may not be sexually on your level. You may have a higher sex oh, drive mm, yeah. than your. Trying to get it all done and, and, and all over the place, every which way you can get it, and upside down, and then a yeah. bar, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does she never do that? Nah. No, I don't. <laughs> Hell no, nah, but I don't know. You just don't like to get smacked up on. No, I didn't say none of that either. <laughs> I'm just saying, like when it when it happens, I want it to be like bow, bow. Mm -hmm. when it always when it happens, it needs to like always happen like this, like. I, oof, I hate when you, you do it and, it, and it's an error. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to do it. Time out. I don't want to do it. What you mean, an error? Like, like, it's not, like it's choke not me, fun. daddy, and you don't get choked right. Or you die. <laughs> or you, wait, you don't want to die. Whoa. I don't know. I guess I, guess I, get, I, get, I get bored quick. Mm. Uh, I, I understand the Aquarius. I understand. And I needed to be kapow every time where it's like... But like every two seconds, if you miss a beat, it's over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you know by now, it is one, two, three. Not one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get to number six. Bashing. Oh now, let me tell you something. I done been drugged by the whole goddamn conscious community twice. I know all about fucking bashing. And that shit is so fucking annoying, especially when it comes from people who don't understand the culture. And by culture, I mean what we do. You know what I'm saying? People who don't understand how liberating it is and how it changed us and how it helped us with our self-esteem in most cases. So it's like, when people come on my pose, oh, you're a hoe. Oh, you're not a black queen. Oh, you're a bed wench. Like, you have mm -hmm. never. I have had memes made of me, drug all up and down. Listen. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't publicity. Post that shit and tag me, bitches. That's all. I can't. I am <laughs> told. Then. I can't. I. It, 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 it just. I don't know. My goal was to heal people. I want to heal too, but bro, I, I was like a rat. I want to heal too, but I'm be trying. Bashing. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't yeah. had much bashing. I think it was probably like once or twice though. But Ooh, it was just like. What was it about? Nah, I used to work at a sex shop. 
But um, <laughs> I used to work at one. Oh, where I went to. <laughs> 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 My thing. And now at the high school, it was just like she came in, and she was being fed, like, oh, hi. And like, I was like, what the fuck do you want? And like, so she wants to end since she left, but like, before she left, her friend was like, oh, you're not gonna say goodbye um, to Starry Peach? And she's like, no, nah, she a whole anyway. I'm like, oh, that's great. That's great. So she comes in later on at night, and she comes in with a dude that I dated, like in high school, and she's just like, oh, where's your deep throat spray? Mm. Tell me why I bust out laughing. <laughs> I'm a hoe. You need spray. I'm all <laughs> looking for deep throat. Yeah, like, breathe through your nose, bitch. I'm gonna get sprayed. Like, because like, hoes don't know. No. Oh, but that part. Maybe you need to elevate your hoe. Elevate your hoe. Elevate your hoe. Pointer. Have you been sober? Every single day. 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 Fuck all that. Look, I'm gonna have to. You, you see what we're doing? We had to put this on. I you know, know what? Like, but they're see through. Ah! <laughs> Look, there's nipples. I mean, but they're still like covered. We can't post it on Instagram. Yeah, this heifer knows. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> She's on her second Instagram, okay? So we I'm just saying, I have nine Facebook. And yeah, I am. I have every single one of them. I'd be damn funny. Got Damn, Damn, princess. <laughs> what was it for? I don't think I was like, I'm liberated, bitch. And they didn't <laughs> like that shit. That's what I did. That's usually why I get blocked. <laughs> I just see a whole white vagina on this Did she get reported? It's still there. Oh. Mm. I got a whole titty, a whole nipple. Just the titty nipple, and it was her titty nipple. Still there? The whole titty nipple. I just see a whole penis. Oh, as the profile picture. No. Yes. It's still there. It's still there. I just yeah. checked yesterday. Yeah, yeah. They be out here. I just want to know who it was that that been deleting me. Like. <laughs> that, that's all I want to ask. How many? How many Instagrams you got? I'm fucking eight, bro. See, that's the problem. If you're watching this, we have a problem. <laughs> I ain't even do nothing nasty, wrong shit. I don't, you know I don't do that shit. <laughs> I'm just out here naked. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, save the sky. Okay, so let's get to number eight. Moving along. <laughs> just eight. Your family will never understand. Oh my god! I just came out to my mom as being bisexual. Oh, I thought you were about to say it's being liberated. Oh. <laughs> I think my bisexuality fits in the under the li umbrella of liberation. It does, it does. I'm, I, she, is she... I'm sorry. I think you have a story? I know, I'm just listening to the way that this I'm word just, sounds. I'm just liberated. like... Liberated. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm liberated. Liberated. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm liberated. I'm done. Anyway. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I told my mom I was bisexual, and the first thing she says to me is, <laughs> ah, something like that. <laughs> I, 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 no. I was like, I was kind of just met. I was like, <laughs> my, mom, my mom went like, to like the whole other side of the couch. No. She did. Oh my God. What was that? She did. Why would you think you, why would you want to think that? So your mom was, your mom is open? My, I don't. I, mm -hmm. My mom is Polly already. Oh yeah. Like, well, she's yeah. liberated. I, I grew up like that. Yeah. And that, and that's how I'm so. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I grew up in that household already, so it was like already off rip, like growing up around everybody else that don't know nothing about nothing. Yeah. Like, I'm just the first one out here half naked, flaunting my stuff, yeah. not giving no shit. Like, Look. fucking 13 years old, that's old, old ass like men. Like, that's fucking creepy, old ass that's men. Very. Like, that's I'm 13. Yes. I'm telling you, I'm 13. Oh yeah. That's creepy. Yeah. Oh, I lied about my age. Oh, oh, yeah. Only about oh, three years. Says. Only about three years. Okay, <laughs> okay y'all, let's get to number nine. <clears throat> Sex so isn't hard. a taboo subject. <laughs> wow. 
Sex is a requirement. It's not something that you just pick and choose whenever. No. You said. <laughs> I'm about to kill that shit. It needs to happen. Bitch! I thought, I thought I drank it all, that's why it wasn't in front of me. <laughs> Damn! Y'all saw me grab her glass. <laughs> Y'all saw me grab her glass. <laughs> I appreciate it. I had your back. We still rolling, bro. Um. Yeah, sex is a taboo. When I was on set of Black Panther, y'all, yes, hi, River Tribe. Um, Wakanda forever. Um, when I was on set of Black Panther, sex is like a, it's like an icebreaker for me, bringing up something sexual, a position, be it a kink, whatever. It's like Mine something too. that I, it's an icebreaker. Mm -hmm. So it's just like easy to talk about. It is easy to talk about, and it and, and it's just like at times people will look at me like, uh, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, I, I'm not around my usual people, but. Oh, well, I know you like it thick too. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, have you met you? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Number 10. This one's for photographers. Photographers think they can get you to pose nude for free just because you're a nudist. <clears throat> <clears throat> that is a no. Yeah, that is a big problem. Well, you get naked in all your pictures anyway. Well, bitch. So the fuck what? Hey, what? Hey, what? 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 My, my what? time and my body. Right. Like, okay, I'm, time I'm for pics. Okay, this pic is for your portfolio, right? Mm-hmm. Where can I use it? What agency wants my... What am I getting out of it? You know, what What agency, Mom, do that what agency wants... What agency wants that with just naked body? They want to see editorial, they want to see fashion. So, you want to do time for pics? It needs to be something that I can use exactly. as well. Not my naked body. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, this is what I love to do. I already love to be like this. And my whole mission is just trying to get other people to understand it's okay right. to be like this. So my whole drive was, you know, it's not about the money. It's about getting the message across. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you play me, bro. <laughs> like, now I'm going to have to charge you. So come again? You in my DMs? Oh. Yeah. And then it's like you'll put rates. DM for rates. DM for in rates. Your bio. No free word. Paid word no only. Yes, and they will still DM do you. Do you do TF? Nigga, no! no. Like, leave me Erotic. Or when you Erotic. Vanish. When like, you bring up when you bring up the price. Oh, I thought we was just going. Well, you thought motherfucking wrong. Or they just won't reply back. It was like, okay, I'll just pay I'll pay I'm a model who knows my worth. You know what I'm saying? I know the type of work ethic I have and the type of work ethic I'll give off. So I'm gonna need you to comply. You know, thank you. That's why I'm gonna be a photographer for right now. Yay, support! Support! I'm gonna have the camera down too. Oh, yeah. support! Yeah. Yeah. Support! Okay. So, <laughs> wait, that was the 10th one. Alright. Yeah. Damn, really? We didn't have dance break at all. <gasps> Music! <laughs> Before we go, guys, we just want to say shout out to Sydney Green for, for the, the ATL Orgy, the second, second one. one. Shout out. It's dope. It's liberating. She's teaching and showing women that it is okay to be sexually liberated. Mm -hmm. Party! <laughs> Dance break! Oh, I'll say. <laughs> 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 